Hello, good morning, and welcome back to the chemistry class. In the last class, we learned about the range of reactions and the fact uh, different type of reaction, uh, average range, instantaneous range, and the calculation, the determination of average range and instantaneous range. I think you remember the equations. Consider the general equation A moles of A plus B moles of B gives C moles of C and B moles of D. The rate is equal to minus 1 by A. Constant, uh, change in the concentration of A divided by change in time. That is minus 1 by A delta concentration of A divided by delta D is equal to minus B concentration of B divided by delta T is equal to plus 1 by C concentration of C divided by delta T is equal to plus 1 by D delta the concentration of D divided by delta T. So today we are going to discuss the problem based on the rate of the reactions. So I am going to discuss the workout example in the NCRT book that is the problem 4-2 <coughs> sorry I just read the problem <coughs> listen the decomposition of nitrogen pentoxide in carbon chloride CCL4 at 318 Kelvin has been studied by monitoring the concentration of H2O5 in the solution. Initially, the concentration of H2O5 is 2.33 moles liter and after 184 minutes, 184 minutes it is reduced to 2.08 mol liter inverse. The reaction takes place according to the equation. 2N2O5 gas gives 4NO2 gas plus O2 gas. Calculate the average rate of this reaction in terms of hours, minutes, the next question, what is the rate of production of NO2 during this period? This is the question, it is uh, given in the NCRT book. So here, the reaction, decomposition reaction of nitrogen pentoxide that gives nitrogen dioxide and the O2. The change in the concentration is monitoring in regular intervals. Initially, initially means the time is equal to zero. Initially, the concentration of H2O5 is 2.33 moles per liter. After 184 minutes, the concentration is reduced to, that means the concentration of the reactant is reduced to 2.08 moles per liter. And the question is, calculate the average rate of the reaction in terms of hours, minutes, seconds. What is the rate of the for production or formation of NO2 during this period? So, the problem of getting the number of hours the data collection. So initially we collect the data. CBC exam data collected equation Data collection and the equation you will get half mark. So by, from the question, it is given that 2N2O5 gas means 4NO2 gas plus O2 gas. Initial concentration that is R1. It is given in the 
question 2.33 more plates and weights at that time t is equal to 0 initially means t1 is equal to 0 r2 uh, concentration of reactants finite time or finally the concentration is 2.08 more liter inverse what is what is the time at the t2 is equal to 184 minutes first we have to calculate the rate of a reaction by using the concentration times of reactants and the second part is rate of formation of the NO2 that is the product so rate average from the equation rate average A is 2 so minus 1 by 2 change in the concentration of N2O5 divided by dt 1 by 4 because C is 4 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 because product delta N2 divided by dt then uh, the coefficient of oxygen the stoichiometric coefficient of oxygen is 1 1 by 1 is 1 delta concentration of O2 divided by dt and we know only the concentrations of reactants so once again we take only this equation this part Ma uh, rate of the reaction is equal to minus 1 by 2 delta concentration of NO2 divided by delta T and we know that the change in the concentration of reactant is equal to final concentration minus initial concentration as we already studied in the previous classes so R2 minus R1 then change in time T2 minus T1 we just substitute the values into the equation half minus half uh, put a common bracket r2 is 2.08 r1 is 2.33 then t2 is 184 minutes t1 is 0 because this is the initial concentration then subtracting the concentration of reactant final minus initial we get minus 0 0.25 because this is a bigger value smaller value minus larger value we will get negative so 0 0.25 divided by this is 184 the minus into minus as I already told you the rate of the reaction is positive for that we multiply with the minus 1 in the case of reactants so minus into minus positive so 0 0.25 uh, divided by 2 into 184 ok doing the calculation 0 point I just cut this sorry I just cut these two values. We get 0 0.125 divided by 184. By using uh, logarithm or by ordinary calculation method, the value is 0 0.000679 mod liter inverts minute inverts. So we can write it in the standard form. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 decimals we move to the right side so 6.79 into 10 raised to minus 4 more liter inverse minute inverse so the first section is over that means the first section in this problem is over we just calculate the average rate of a reaction of N2O5 decomposes into NO2 and then O2 this is expressed per minute then we want to express it per hours so rate average per hour and we know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes so to convert 
into our elements just apply dimension analysis 6.79 into 10 raised to minus 4 mod which inverse minute inverse into 60 minute by 1 hour 4.07 into 10 raised to minus 2 mod which inverse uh, sorry mod which inverse per hour There is a mistake. Our inverse. Okay. Our inverse. Then next we calculate. We convert rate average in seconds. Sixty seconds equal to one minute. So to convert per second, you just divide the rate in minutes per minute. 6.79 is 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 60 second. Minute in rates, minute cancelled. So we get 1.13 into 10 raised to minus 5 more minute in rates, second in rates. Are you clear? Hope you understand. The next the second part is the rate of formation of NO2. Also, rate is equal to 1 by 4 delta NO2 divided by delta T. It is uh, from the equation. Look at it. Rate average also expressed in the terms of reactants and product. So, rate is equal to 1 by 4 delta in uh, concentration of NO2 divided by delta I. We just apply the concept here. So, rate is also equal to 1 by 4 delta concentration of NO2 divided by delta T. What is rate? We already calculate the rate of a reaction at 184 minutes. 7 point, sorry, 6.79 into 10 raised to minus 4 more little weights in little weights. That is equal to 1 by 4 delta NO2 divided by delta T. What is the rate of formation or production of NO2? This thing. Delta NO2 divided by dT is the rate of formation of NO2 or rate of production of NO2. So, the rate of Production of NO2 is equal to delta NO2 divided by dT by rearranging the equation. The term delta NO2 divided by dT is equal to the 4 becomes here. Yeah. So 4 into 6.79 into raised to minus 4 more little weights, many weights. In finally, just multiply 27.16 in the raised to minus 4. The unit is same. And the standard form, we try to write in the standard form in the examination. So, standard form 2.72 into 10 raised to minus 4 becomes minus 3 because the decimal move to the left side. So, 2.72 into 10 raised to minus 3. More little ways, many little ways. Okay, are you clear?